Welcome back, Patriots, to the Bald Brad Show. We got a nice, short and sweet Friday episode for you all. But as always, Joe Biden is still the worst president in American history. And speaking of one of the worst, he has created one of the worst situations at our southern border, which is our lead story of the day, and one in which we covered a little bit yesterday, and we're going to extrapolate just a teensy bit on what took place. So we have a video clip here of a large group of military-aged males illegally storming past Texas National Guard troops Thursday, just yesterday, on the U.S. southern border. The New York Post, which recorded video of the incident, reported that more than 100 illegal aliens broke through razor wire and fencing and then pushed straight through the soldiers and stormed the border. I was told that razor wire can kill people. That was coming from uh, Karine Jean-Pierre herself on the White House podium. So if it's killing people, why were they able just to, you know, just freely walk right past it and storm past our Border Patrol agents? Here we go. Just, it, it's still, I've seen this video clip like five times. It's still insane to me. Even though this is a few hundred people, not a single child. There's no family here. They're all military aged males. Every single one of them. We don't know who any of these people are. Just breaking through our barriers. Unbelievable. Folks, Joe Biden has the authority to fix this. Just to be clear, has the authority in written form, but he just doesn't want to do it. And that has led to, again, that viral clip. But there's this other clip, and this one's really going to piss you off. You have a TikToker here who is going viral by telling illegal immigrants to invade homes in America thanks to progressive swatting laws. So as you have heard, I'm sure, swatting has become a massive issue here in the United States because these Democrat and the libs want to allow your property to virtually be inhabited or invaded by somebody else that doesn't belong there in the first place. Well, this dude is telling illegal aliens to go take over and invade your homes. Check this out. Mi gente! He pensado invadir una casa en Junei State. Ya que me enteré que existe una ley que dice que si una casa no está habitada, podemos expropiarla. Capichi, muchachos, aquí en Junei State también se aplica la de invasión de terreno. Y creo que ese será mi próximo negocio, invadir casas abandonadas, ya que me he buscado unos códigos con mis amigos africanos y me dijeron que ya llevan como siete casas expropiadas. Y como dice el dicho, papi, hay que buscar la vuelta. This is wild. Y la vuelta ahorita mismo es invadir casas. Ya que nos encontramos en situación de calle y es la única manera que tenemos para no vivir en la calle y no ser una carga pública. Capichi, la ley dice que las casas abandonadas, deterioradas y que esté en mal estado, podemos llegar y repararlas, vivir en ellas y si podemos venderlas, hasta pedir créditos con ellas. I, I hope and I'm glad that it's going viral because you would imagine that it's going to tick off a lot of Americans when you start invading other people's homes. What's to say they're not on vacation? I understand this guy's going, well, it's dilapidated, you know, repairs and all these other things, but that's not what's happening with squatters. Squatters are taking over multi million dollar mansions and the homeowners can't get back into the house and the police department won't actually arrest the squatters who invaded your home, invaded your property that you own. It's wild insane this country is so ass backwards it is head spinning we're going down the we're going down the dumpster folks especially look it's how quickly it happens if you keep electing democrats it's just going to sit there and speed up the process of this country nose diving if you sit there and get republicans and some current conservatives in office it won't happen as fast so here's some other news immigration surges to america's top concern for first time in five years dude <laughs> it's not bad enough they say it's the top concern. It's not bad enough yet, folks. The American people believe immigration is now the most important issue facing the country, according to a new Gallup poll, which marks the first time since 2019 that respondents have identified immigration 
at their most pressing concern. The survey conducted on February 1st through the 20th found that 28% of Americans believe immigration is the most important problem facing the country, an eight-point increase from the month prior. Government came in second behind immigration with 20% of respondents agreeing that it is the most important problem facing the United States. The economy and inflation trail immigration and government at 12 to 11% respectively. A record high 55% of adults believe immigrants or rather immigration is a critical threat to U.S. interests. So thank God at least half the country has their head on straight. An eight point jump from last year, a whopping 90% of Republicans and 54% of independents view immigration as a critical threat compared to just 29% of Democrats. They're still living under rocks, folks. They're not with us. Like Joey, they're not with us. An additional 31% of Americans consider immigration an important aspect and concept, but not a cr critical threat. 14% do not think immigration is an important or critical threat to United States interests. Folks, we don't know who these people are. We don't know necessarily where they're coming from. We don't know what their interests are. We don't know what their end goal is. Some of these people, I'm not saying all of them, some of them want to commit crimes. It is just a fact. How do we know that? Because they are committing crimes. That's how we know. But 29% of Democrats, just, that's not a big deal. I told you guys, it is not hitting the Democrats hard enough yet. That's the real issue for Americans. They don't feel the impact of this yet. You want to sway and change somebody's vote? If you want to sway and change someone's mindset, Democrats run on feelings. They don't run on logic and reason, you guys. That's why when we talk about stats like this, or we show them graphs and the effects it could have in the future, it is not working, okay? So we need something to impact them. It hasn't gotten bad enough. Yes, I know that there's homeless people throwing hot diarrhea on Democrats. It's not bad enough yet. Yes, I know there's a guy defecating right in front of their doorstep. It's not bad enough for them yet. I understand their homes are being invaded. It's not bad enough for them yet. I understand their kids are having to walk through these homeless encampments of people doing drugs and conducting prostitution right in front of them. It's not bad enough for them yet, folks. You have to understand if you want to move the needle, it has to get really bad for Democrats, and it hasn't. Look at California. Look at Portland, Washington, Portland, Oregon. Look at Seattle, Washington. Look at New York City. Look at these dilapidated areas that Democrats have created. It's still not bad. Folks, some of these places are a shell of what they used to be, completely ran to the ground, and Democrats will still vote Democrat, and they will blame Republicans for their situation that they are in. It is so bad that some of these Democrats in these localities, there has never been a Republican ever to govern those, those localities ever it is dilapidated it is ran down in the citizens of the area that have lived there their entire lives not a republican in sight will still say it's better that we have a democrat in office because republicans will just make it worse never had a republican in office in the area ever you, i'm telling you, you can't rationalize with some of these people folks and you're seeing it in real time you can't rationalize with the president because his brain's not working you can't rationalize with the vice president because not only is her brain not working and she trashed California, but she's part of the progressive left. You can't sit there and help the Democrat party because they're so far left, their heads are spinning. Folks, let me know what you think about this one in the comment section below. We'll see if we get some other videos out today. A little bit of a short episode. It is Friday. It's not a big news day, but I wanted to bring an important topic up to all of you and update you on what is going on with the insane surge at the border along with now you have YouTubers, TikTokers, influencers telling illegal aliens to take over your homes, folks. I'm curious what you think about this. Leave us a comment down below. We do have a membership. Would love for you to join. 99 cents a month. A month, not a day. A month. You get some perks there, folks. We'd love for you to join us. Help support a conservative. We have a book, Trojan Horse, How the Left is Destroying America. All the links to everything, all our goodies in the description below, folks. I'll see you later here on the Bob Brad Show.